So today I wanted to talk to you about the snag-free bottom bouncers. Uh, basically, uh, one of the problems you run into in fishing uh, relatively fast moving water uh, that has a, a rocky bottom like we have here in New Hampshire and a lot of the rivers and streams is that if you drop a sinker to the bottom, it'll get snagged between some rocks and then there's no way to get it out. Uh, sometimes you can move downstream and try and pull it in the other direction. Uh, but a lot of times you're hopelessly uh, snagged on the bottom. Uh, the, these snag-free bottom bounces, they've been around for decades. This is not a new concept. But the way it works is that you have a sinker, but it is, it is bound to the, a long wire. And so you've got uh, many inches, probably about four or five inches here, of uh, wire uh, before the sinker. And what this does is this keeps the sinker off the bottom. And there's really nothing that can snag the, uh, the wire. I mean, literally, it can go between rocks. If there's a little bit of a muddy, uh, uh, some weeds on the bottom, it, it, it can't grab onto the sinker. Um, and then uh, you've got a, another piece of wire that goes to where your line would be attached to. So this from here, you could have a, a, a swivel and attach it to this point here, and this goes back to the fishing rod, either from shore or from a boat. The next part is there's another wire, and then another loop, and then uh, a swivel that you can attach some line to. And so what you end up with, um, ideally this is used on a rocky bottom in deeper water with a, a decent current. And so what happens is the bait uh, is you put a little leader here and then a hook. You can put any bait you want here. You could put a minnow. Um, last night uh, I was using uh, a full night crawler and, and uh, caught a, a really nice um, smallmouth bass. And if you look later on in the video, it'll be linked. Uh, just check for the link about the smallmouth bass. Whoa, holy cow, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, he's not, he's not happy about... No, Whoa. that is a big smallmouth. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> you know, I don't know how deep it is here. I mean, I have an idea, but... And he's really... I think that's... I think, I think the leader he's on... I think it's only six pound test. Well, he, he's okay. I thought he was going to jump. That'd be kind of cool if he got a little jump. He's probably tired now. Well, he's fighting the current. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Well, here he goes. Oh. You get him out. Yeah, good. Almost broke the surface. Well, he did break the surface. But... You want to tighten your drag a little or? Uh, I'll tighten it a little bit. I just don't want to lose him because um, because the that leader is only, I think it's only six pound test. Oh, okay. So I, I'm going to switch it out with something heavier. Whoa. We're gonna run out of uh, gigabytes here. <laughs> but when we're, by the way, we're in the full blown drift here. We're in the full blown drift? Yeah. Okay, okay here he goes. Whoa! He's ready. Here, bring him over. You want me to do it for you? Um, well, do you want to do it? Or? Yeah, can you bring him over to me? Yep. All right. I can get him over to you. Okay. That. Oh, he oh. wants to come to this side. Oh, now. for the love of God, tighten your drag up. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to lose. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh my god. Okay, here we go. All right, here he comes. Let me get him in there. <laughs> get him in. I'm trying. Oh, oh, oh. Holy oh. shit, that's a beast, man. Here, get him out. We need to. <laughs> what a beast. Oh my god. And we thought, you know, we thought we could catch small mouse in here, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is a prize, man. Nice. Yeah.